forgot what I was going to say. That was like a big breath in and then nothing, nothing came out of my face. Today's topic is kind of ironic. It's supposed to be our top five favorite summer reads, but if you can hear, it's raining and it's not like summer at all. So I'm in a hoodie and it's totally not summery at all here in Canada. So I apologize for the rain, which you'll probably hear a lot of, and um, sorry. I just realized three out of my five books are Jenny Han, so good job Jenny Han. Apparently you write a lot of summery books. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, and it is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes, so I will leave both their links down below, as well as the Goodreads group if you guys want to check out topics and such. Topic is Top 5 Summery Reads, so these books are supposed to be books that remind you of summer. Honestly, this topic was actually really hard for me. I don't really read a lot of, like, summery books. I read more thrillers, which aren't really summery in my opinion. So, you all might be like, Jay, no, these are not summary, but deal with it, they are now. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I read these books back in like 2015, I think, but they definitely have a summer vibe. I mean, like it says summer in the title, so, yeah, no. I think I gave all of them like three or four stars. I honestly don't remember. It was so long ago, but I do remember enjoying them. So. My next summary read is Morgan Matson's Since You've Been Gone. Even just looking at the cover, it screams summer. I'm fairly certain that every Morgan Matson book pretty much screams summer. I've only read this one, so like technically I can't really say if it does or not. But... I'm gonna say yes it does, because based off of all the covers, they're very summery. I read this back in 2016, and I loved it. I thought it was super fluffy and contemporary and totally perfect for summer. My third book for my summer reads is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This book is so fluffy and contemporary and just full of summer vibes to me, even though like, I'm pretty sure it was set in the school year. It just, it's just summary to me. My next book is The Burn for Burn series by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I read these in the summer, so I think that's why I think of them as the summary books. But also, I think it's just like the brightness of the cover also says summer to me because a lot of my books are just black. So any bright covers, I'm like, yes, summer it is. But I remember really enjoying these books. And then the last book I haven't actually read, so I could be wrong, but I'm going based off of the cover. And it is The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. And basically I'm saying this is summer because, like, that's my excuse. Could be very wrong, but we're going with it. Alright guys, so those were my summer reads. I, I could be very wrong because I don't read a lot of contemporary books, which is what I relate to summer, so... Let me know down below if I did okay or not. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!